This tutorial is adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers with regrouping. Now to make today's tutorial a little bit easier, we gave sample problems that have the same denominator. But if you encounter a problem that has different denominators, remember to add and subtract fractions you always have to have a common denominator. So you'd have to convert your fractions into equivalent fractions with common denominators. But we're going easy today. So let's see, our first problem, we've got 3 and 3 fifths plus 2 and 4 fifths. So I always add my fractions first. So I have 3 fifths plus 4 fifths. I know my denominator stays the same. 3 plus 4 is 7. Wait a second, that's an improper fraction. I've got to convert that into a mixed number. So only one set of 5 goes into 7, so I know that's 1. And I have 2 left over, so I have 1 and 2 fifths. So now let me add my whole numbers. I have 3 plus 2. That equals 5. I want to add my 1 from my fraction. So I have 6 as my whole number and my 2 fifths. So my final answer is 6 and 2 fifths. Let's try that with subtraction. Again, I'm going to start with my fraction. So I have 1 fourth minus 3 fourths. Wait a second, I can't take 3 fourths from 1 fourth. So what do I have to do? I got to borrow from my whole number. So I'm going to turn this 5 into a 4. That whole number I just added is the same as 4 fourths. So I'm going to add that 4 fourths to my 1 fourth to make it 5 fourths. So this now becomes 5 fourths. That I can subtract. My denominator stays the same. 5 minus 3 is 2. And 2 fourths simplified is the same as 1 half. All right, now I'm going to look at my whole numbers. Now I've only got a 4 left. 4 minus 2 is 2. So I know my final answer is 2 and 1 half. That has been your tutorial on adding and subtracting fractions with mixed numbers and mixed numbers with regrouping.